Hello, Bill Molino here for Bill's History World with Goober the Traveling Bear. And tonight we are doing another Goober book review. And tonight's book is Devil's Den, A History and Guide by none other than Mr. Gary E. Alderman and Mr. Timothy H. Smith. Um... A few moments I need to say, uh, Mr. Gary is extremely famous. He does YouTube, Licensed Battlefield Guide, his YouTube videos for the American Battlefield Trust, and a, an incredible historian. And I, I can't say enough about Gary and all the work he does. And then we have Mr. Timothy Smith and a Licensed Battlefield Guide, one of the greatest speakers for the Adams uh, County Historical Society, the Museum Beyond, uh, Gettysburg uh, Beyond, and uh, both of them are phenomenal historians. So, let's get this out of the way. The Devil's Den book is two paws up and two feet paws up. All right, Goober the Traveling Bear, you got to laugh. Life is short. And uh, we're going to talk about this book for a few minutes. You can buy it on Amazon, but you can also purchase it at the Adams County Historical Society, Gettysburg and Beyond Museum. Now we're going to get Goober out of the way, and we're also going to keep this video short. All right, so we're going to hit just a few major points and I have my notes here and here we go the contents of this book are is incredible we have the pre battle history the battles for Devil's Den post battle history touring Devil's Den and what I the really neat thing is the pre battle history the lore of the den the big snake we're gonna be talking about both of those in acknowledgments, um, Dr. Walter Powell is listed in here along with many other historians. Um, Dr. Walter Powell's um, really uh, uh, a big influence in my world of history. So to see him listed here is really neat. So that's the acknowledgments. And also I should mention that this is dedicated to Gary and uh, Tim's um, parents. All right, uh, let's go and talk about this uh, book a bit. All right, we're only going to hit a few points of this incredible book. Um, first of all, The Lore of the Den on page seven. And The Lore of the Den. Now, the Devil's Den, believe it or not, was not called Devil's Den until July 20th, 1863. So, it wasn't called Devil's Den. This is the, the all records, the word devil being used to describe the area in question are post-battle. All right, so let's get that right out of the way. It wasn't until after the battle. And um, very interesting um, that that is... Uh, truth and uh, the first documented usage of the name Devil's Den described the rocks in front of the round tops comes from a Pennsylvania soldier named Francis M. Stoke. All right, we're not going to continue on with that. All right, now let's go on to the snake lore. All right, on page 11, Heat Big Snake. By the turn of the century, the term Devil's Den was used in virtually every book published on the battle. And uh, there is the famous round top and rendezvous for the monster snake. Um, there's a whole chapter about the snake. And it's quite interesting. It seems like everybody's account it got up to be like 20 feet long in some um, reports and some people's diaries. You know, Arnold Schwarzenegger from uh, Conan probably needed to come in and take care of the snake. So they do a great, great service in this book on talking about these many different 
issues and the snake caves. So um, it's just interesting how the giant snake lure, and yes, there are eight types of snakes, two which are poisonous and inhabit the Gettysburg National Park, uh, but there is no 20 foot snake snakes. Um, the longest one can grow is about six feet. And as far as the exaggeration of 15 to 20 foot snakes coming out of Devil's Den is all prefabricated. All right, so let's move on from that. All right, we're going to talk about P. Noel. Um, this is sort of close to me. Um, when I ran the Gettysburg Area Gamers uh, War Game Club, we had several licensed battlefield guides. And this fictitious story, which is on uh, Haunted Gettysburg, it's in books, that um, a woman um, died at Devil's Den and her ghost with a finger of death carved her name P. Noel in here. And it's totally false fiction and um, the, there is no such thing as this being carved by a ghost. What it is is there is an actual uh, person that uh, carved for the federal government and he carved in his name in there near um it's at the top of devil's den in the one area and this book tells you exactly where it is um now i'm gonna read on the p noel the gettysburg granite indicating that a local contractor was involved in this um a humorous um con story concerning this inscription is included in the recent book entitled haunted gettysburg in which the carving is attributed to Pauline Knoll, who supposedly died at Devil's Den, whose ghost is responsible for the carving. It cannot be stressed enough that this story, like many other ghost stories, is an outright fabrication and not true. No one named Pauline Knoll ever lived or died near the den. So there is no Pauline Knoll even in Gettysburg. So, um, so this book clears up another, uh, I guess, uh, I'm amazed of how many people ask me, have I ever been or seen this carving in Gettysburg? And I lived there 20 years, and of all the things I was asked about, not, you know, Gettysburg's uh, Lincoln's Address statue or, or, you know, General Meade's headquarters, but I would be asked about this. And all my licensed battlefield guide friends at the time was very frustrated about that also. So Tim and Gary do a wonderful job clearing up a lot of these type of issues. All right, let's go on to one more topic and then we'll close out. Well, well, I don't know how many people out there know this, but the, the uh, photographs, images, and information in this book are incredible. But there was a trolley and an electric train that went around through Gettysburg. When it got to Devil's Den, um, you would hop off the train, head it back on another one, and uh, there was actually issues of trains colliding into each other, people getting hurt. And of course, um, there are no trolleys and train, electric trains in Gettysburg anymore. They've all been uh, eradicated. But uh, this book, besides the battle around in Devil's Den, the maps that are included, this unknown history that's sort of forgotten is brought back to life. Um, and I can't say more about how much they cover in this book. So, I'm going to uh, close out the Devil's Den book with my standard saying that this is a must-have book. Um, Gary and Tim are incredible historians. Uh, this book is a must-have book. And 
it contains so much information and it reads really nice. I, I read this in about three hours, maybe a little less, and the photographs and maps are awesome. Uh, anyhow, please subscribe to my history channel as I try to grow and try to help uh, teach history with Goober the Traveling Bear. And Goober is just in fun. You know, you gotta laugh and uh, enjoy life a bit. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, be kind, be courteous. Um, like and subscribe to my channel and let other people know about it. And I'm trying to do two book reviews a month if I can read that fast. Thank you for watching.